Welcome, everyone, and thanks for joining this talk. Let me start with a brief introduction of myself. My name is Chen Renjing. Now I'm a graduate student from Shanghai Jiao Tong University. In this talk, I will introduce our work, GNEM, a generic one-to-set neuron entity matching framework. This work focuses on solving entity matching problem. So, what is entity matching? It means given two collections of records, and each record is associated with a set of attributes. We should determine whether these record pairs refer to the same real entity. Entity matching is a crucial problem in data integration and data management. Recent works have been devoted to developing pair-wise entity matching neural network models towards higher classification accuracy. They treat entity matching as a binary classification problem, like taking a pair of records as input, then produce the probability that two records refer to the same entity. Typically, an entity matching framework can be summarized as follows. Given two collections of records following the same schema, all cross-table record pairs need to be identified as matched or unmatched. To improve the matching efficiency, we usually resort to blocking mechanism to filter out irrelevant record pairs, and the remaining will form a candidate set and needs to be further examined by the following modules. Now, there have been many types of blocking technologies, such as key-based blocking, min-hash blocking, meta-blocking, and so on. All these blocking mechanisms are computationally efficient and assumed to have no false negatives. Next, all pairs in the candidate set will be fed into a matching module independently. Existing matching models like DPR, DeepMatcher, MCA will extract the similarity vector for each pair and then give the matching probability by classification module. Although pairwise neural models have achieved great performance on entity matching tasks, they may suffer from noisy or insufficient information in the records. For example, as shown in the table, if we are supposed to determine whether R1A and R2B is a matching pair, it's difficult for a pairwise entity matching method to recognize that they are matched because the similarity between them is relatively low due to the missing attribute values in the records. Interestingly, when R1B is provided, we can easily tell that R1A and R1B are matched and R1B and R2B are similar. So we can infer that R1A and R2B are matched. Similarly, it is difficult to conclude R2A and R4B are unmatched. But by referring to R3B, we realize that R2A and R3B are unmatched, and R4B is more similar to R3B than R2A. This provides a clue that R2A and R4B are unmatched. The above two examples illustrate the benefits of referring to relevant records during the entity matching process, especially for difficult pairs. To address the limitation in pairwise entity matching models, we propose a new one-to-set neural framework for entity matching named GNEM. GNEM consists of four parts, pre-processing, graph construction, interaction module, and a classification module. I will introduce the four modules one by one. Pre-processing module extracts relevant records to augment each record pair and prepares one to set matching instance. Given two collections of records, we also resort to blocking mechanism to filter out irrelevant record pairs and obtain a candidate set. Then we reorganize the candidate set and derive a one to set matching instance for each record. The matching instance involves all pairs including the corresponding record. After pre-processing, graph construction module organizes the matching pairs in the instance into a graph structure with weighted edges. Considering one matching instance, we treat it at each pair as a node and compute the similarity vector for the pair as the initial node representation. Then we establish an edge for every two nodes to allow direct information exchange between any two pairs and compute edge weights based on their node features. Up to now, 
we have obtained a complete graph for each matching instance. We aim to predict the binary matching labels for all the nodes in the graph. To this end, we introduce an interaction module to facilitate the propagation of information among nodes in the graph, and is achieved by graph neural network. Here, we adopt a gated graph neural network to prevent oversmoothing problem. The output of graph neural network is the learned representations for all nodes in the graph, and we aim to infer a binary matching label for each node. To control the model complexity, we supply the node representations to a single fully connected layer followed by a standard softmax classifier. One thing to note, each record pair will appear in two graphs. We fuse the two matching probabilities by averaging. Our GNEM is a generic one-to-set neural framework for entity matching, but it can also be viewed as an extension or generalization of existing pairwise entity matching methods. At first, GNEM uses the similarity vectors produced by pairwise similarity module as initial node representations. A node here equals the record pair in pairwise neural models. Moreover, Given the graph, the interaction between record pairs in the graph is controlled by the edge weights defined in the adjacent matrix. The weights here are learned by fully connected layers based on node features. Consider the extreme case that the weights of self loops are pushed to positive infinity. The normalized adjacent matrix will become a, an identity matrix. In this case, the interaction via graph neural network will be removed. Then GNEM is simplified and only able to predict the matching label for record pairs based on similarity vectors. And then GNEM degenerate to pairwise models. Hence, GNEM is an extension or generalization of pairwise entity matching methods. As for the experiment part, we evaluate GNEM on three most difficult public data sets on entity matching. Our codes are implemented by PyTorch and run on a server equipped with four 2080 Ti GPUs and 128 gigabytes memory. The results of all comparison methods are shown in the table. Origin means the performance of original pairwise entity matching neural models. GNEM shows the results of our framework when applying the corresponding pairwise similarity module to compute initial node representations. We use a single layer graph neural network for all the implementations of GNEM in this table. We also report the results of GNEM without interaction, which abandons the interaction between nodes by removing all edges in graph except the self loops. Overall, from the result in this table, we can see that our framework consistently outperforms the existing pairwise entity matching methods in most cases over the three datasets. Specifically, GNEM achieves up to 8.4% improvement in F1 score compared with SOTA, and it also surpasses GNEM without interaction, which indicates our framework benefits from the interaction between different nodes in the matching pair graph. We can also observe that the texture dataset ABTBI benefits the most from our one to set entity matching setting. This is because ABTBI is in face of severe attribute missing problem and is hard for pairwise entity matching methods to learn informative and discriminative features from long sentences in difficult pairs. In contrast, GNEM leverages the information of relevant records to boost the matching accuracy. To investigate the effects of the layer number of graph neural network, we set layer number to 1, 2, 3 respectively, and the results are shown in the figure. We can observe from the performance curves that a single layer is usually sufficient for record pairs to interact with their neighbors since the constructed graphs are complete. Increasing the number of GCN layers will bring in the oversmoothing problem, which may even cause performance degradation. On the ABT-BY dataset, 
more layers achieve marginal performance improvement than single layer. This is because the average graph size on ABT bar is relatively large and its record involves text blocks with possible complex semantics to be captured. Overall, we recommend to use a single layer gated GCN in GNEM for the trade off between performance and parameter efficiency. To further understand our framework, we randomly split the node set in the graph into several parts to decrease the average graph size during the test stage. We choose three different seeds to partition all the graphs in different ways and report the respective results. We, f we can find that the matching performance decrease as the average graph size becomes smaller, which follows our intuition because a smaller graph size means there are fewer relevant records to be concerned during each matching decision in the graph. When the graph size becomes 1, GNEM is essentially transformed into GNEM without interaction. In general, the matching performance benefits from referring to more relevant records. At last, I briefly summarize our work. In this paper, we develop a generic one to set neural framework named GNEM for entity matching. GNEM allows each record pair to interact with relevant records and exploit valuable information from other pairs during the decision of its matching label which is beneficial to the overall matching performance. And we show that GNEM can be interpreted as an extension or generalization of existing pairwise entity matching neural methods. It enhances the pairwise matching process by devising a record pair graph to facilitate the interaction among pairs for information propagation. We evaluate our framework on public entity matching dataset. The results show that GNEM achieves significant improvement in the matching accuracy compared with existing pairwise models. That's all. Thanks for listening.